So this integral just by itself can be done with um, Mathematica or Wolfram Alpha or uh, maybe some good graphing calculators, but it's it's still a good problem to set up and and and, and to think about. Uh, one thing I uh, need to do right away is um, we're going to take the integral uh, in the inside. We're going to take it with respect to c before we take it with respect to a, because at the end we want to. The last thing we want to do is um, uh, take the the integral with respect to um, uh, uh, known non-variable limits, right? These are these are constants. So let me write this um, as the, and I'm also going to break this up into two integrals, this, um, two double integrals. A goes from one quarter to one. C goes from one over four A to one. So two root A root C, and then um, DC DA. And it's implied when, when DC is in the dc is the first term here, it's implied that um, you're taking the integral with respect to c first. That's where I kind of messed up there. So then this is subtract off the integral from one, a goes from one quarter to one, c goes from one over four a to one of, uh, again this is negative one times da dc, so this is, uh, um, so this is dc da. So the first integral I'm going to do, so this, is, this is two integrals, I'm going to do this integral first. And let me um, once once we once we have that uh, this this might just I think this is going to take an entire video but let's see so this is just boom 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 that equals uh, so let me um, I'm not going to really skip some steps but let me box this in here like this so we as you can see if we can see a little ahead the integral. Um, uh, the integral of dc is just uh, c, and so we have, um, so in that green part we have c evaluated at 1, subtract evaluated at 1 uh, over 4a, and then we're going to continue, after we do that we're going to continue, I don't want to skip any steps here, um, just so you can see the whole thing playing out. So let's go and do this, evaluate at 1, subtract off evaluation at 1 over 4a, so we have 1, we have the integral, one fourth to one of uh, again evaluate at one subtract valuation at one over four a da and that um, is equal to um, so the, the this is just the power rule and we see a natural log function coming in here too so this is uh, uh, increase the power by one, so the, the integral of one is, is just a, and then this is minus one over four, natural log of a, evaluation at one, subtract off evaluation at a quarter, so this is one minus one quarter ln of one, so that's, there's our evaluation at one, right there, and we're going to subtract evaluation at a quarter, so this is one quarter, don't forget this parentheses, uh, one quarter minus one quarter natural log of a quarter, right? And that's that right there is evaluation at one quarter. Okay, so I'm doing this. Look at that natural log of one is just zero. Boom. Let's get rid of that guy, and we have one minus a quarter, which is three quarters, and then we have so that takes care of uh, these terms. That one. And that one, and we still have this negative, negative quarter ln of quarter of a quarter, so that's plus one quarter natural log of a quarter. And what is that equal to? So let's do three quarters. Um, we can go to our calculator now. Uh, there's probably ways to estimate this, which I uh, do like to do, but the um, natural log of a quarter times a quarter is negative three point or negative point three four seven. So this is plus one quarter. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, just this right here. This right here is equal to. Just that is equal to negative 
or 7. So this, uh, 0.75 minus 0.347 is 0 0.403. Right, let's put a Z, let's put zeros, let's be the scientists here. So that right there, that is, let me box it with red, that is our first integral right there. So this value right here is 0 0.403. Okay, I'm ready to, we're gonna be ready to tackle this guy next. So that'll be in the next video.